All right, I'm given to understand that uh, we can go across to my colleague Karthike Sharma for more on this story. Karthike, there are conflicting yes. reports. What's the actual situation? Yes, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, Ramesh, there are conflicting reports. We'll wait for the final, uh, uh, final uh, word to come out, yes. Because, you know, uh, Ramesh, uh, it's not about one person. There are a number of people... Uh, Ramesh, there are a number of people, uh, you know, who are being tried. It's Neelam, Sonali, Bendre, Saif, Salman. So, Ramesh, the judgment can differ for people. You know, it's about culpability. So, one person can be an accused. One person can get, uh, 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 two people can get acquitted. One person can actually be culpable for crime. So, those details have to be out. We will, uh, we will, we will uh, stay put on the story. Uh, uh, for the simple reason, for the simple reason that... Uh, it's not only about Salman Khan, viewers should know, at that point of time, Salman Khan was accompanied by Saif Ali Khan, Tabu, Sonali Bendre and Neelam. So they were, apart from Salman, there were four other people in that uh, gypsy or jeep, uh, that vehicle which was being used. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, anyway, it's going to be a very path-breaking judgment in itself for one very simple reason, that it is going to set a precedent. And uh, this case was actually fought by the Bishnois because... Uh, one that uh, he he was tried under the wildlife protection act and uh, and the killing of wildlife a animal within that section can invite severe punishment secondly uh, the issue is it was uh, it was pursued by the bishnoi community which actually worships nature so you know it also it also it also became an issue uh, ramesh of uh, uh, the community and the ethics and their uh, own uh, moral ecosystem. That's number two. And uh, important in this aspect is that this case has been dragging for quite some time. I'm sorry to be... Uh, right, so we're given to understand that Salman Khan has been convicted. The other co-actors stand acquitted. Or right, I'm joined by Swapnil Kothari, a senior lawyer, who is joining us uh, for this uh, breaking news. Uh, Swapnil, we are given to understand that the court has, uh, the judge, judge has pronounced the verdict and Salman Khan has been found guilty, but the other co-actors have been acquitted. Yes, uh, uh, it's very apparent that uh, this was a staring in the face and there's, I'm not surprised at all uh, that he's been convicted for the simple reason that the uh, evidence was overwhelming against it. And, uh, you know, uh, just as uh, you know, I maintained earlier on the other channel that, uh, uh, you know, the fact that the the minds of judge they've considered here because here only the animal is different every other circumstance is the same so if he's convicted there then there is no reason why he should be acquitted here just because it's a different animal so and it happened during the same year at the same point in time so uh, i'm not surprised at all with this judgment and uh, the fact that this judgment has been given so the very uh, you know, celebrities and you and me are all alike at the end of the day in the eyes of the law. And if we do not follow the law, then we face the consequences. So, uh, uh, you know, the other uh, court you stand acquitted for the simple reason the judge would have given the reasons that maybe they did not have the criminal intent, uh, uh, you know, as what is necessary as what we call mens rea in law, that, uh, you know, to actually go and poach and uh, kill the black buck so on that is regarding the other four uh, those need to be acquitted whereas uh, the person who actually shot the uh, 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 black buck uh, which is Salman Khan here right. uh, was acquitted so he was convicted so that you know that uh, so it's uh, the law it's, the law takes its course and the law has all right, Swapnil, we'll try to fix that connection with you in a bit, but uh, the news we are breaking here on Vion this moment is that Indian superstar Salman Khan has been found guilty in the 20-year-old poaching case. The Jodhpur court has convicted him. We'll know about the sentencing going forward, but that's the news we are breaking here on Vion this moment. A massive setback for Salman Khan. The actor has been convicted in the 20-year-old poaching case. Now, Swapnil, if you are still with me and can hear me, and now many are describing this already as a path-breaking judgment, a benchmark, so to speak. Uh, explain to the viewer the implications of this judgment, the, the context, the text, the subtext of this judgment for celebrities, for animal rights activists in India and the world over. Um, well, it's a way, the court has sent a clear message that, uh, the first of all, that celebrities and you and me and the common people are all alike. That's one. Two, human beings are as important as, uh, sorry, animals are as important as, as human beings. 
that is number two. And the third is that where does it go on from now? Salman can appeal against this judgment. First, let's wait for the quantum of the uh, sentence. If it's more than three years, then he goes behind bars. If it's three years or below that, then he'll immediately get a bail for asking. Uh, that's the right provided uh, uh, you know, under the CRPC. So he'll get that. Now, uh, if, if, if the quantum of the sentence is uh, three years and below, only if so. But if it's more than that, then he goes beyond bars. And of course, his uh, legal team will go ahead and appeal against this judgment to the Sessions Court. And this doesn't end here. And then, you know, it may all go on to the High Court and then it will go on to the Supreme Court. Because what has happened is that in the case the Rajasthan High Court acquitted him, uh, you know, the, the government has gone in appeal to the Supreme Court. So he's got a slew of cases still pending against him, including the hit and run case, which uh, where he was acquitted by the Bombay High Court. So as far as this particular thing is concerned, Salman's legal uh, quandaries are not over as yet. And, uh, you know, he's... Uh, you know, he's, he's still got a long way, at least another decade or so, before, you know, he writes off uh, the entire uh, legal chapter behind him. And uh, unless he accepts his judgment and goes to jail and, uh, you know, for whatever the quantum of the state, uh, sentence is concerned, so this case would then be over. But uh, I, I don't think, uh, you know, his legal uh, uh, quandaries or legal tussles end there because, you know, he's got another one or two cases there. Uh, you know, the hit and run case and then the arms act case, etc., where the government has gone and appealed. So, you know, this is something which, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, for him, is uh, you know not going to leave him uh, you know that easily and uh, you know uh, it's 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 a very very important message that even the trial courts in this country do not get pressurized by celebrity status by a slew or by a retinue of police uh, you know either on top of the terrace or around the high court or uh, sorry around the court and uh, you know media uh, uh, or the media scrutiny i was i would call it because media never pressures media only scrutinizes and uh, you know it, it does what it uh, does its best that upholds the rights of the people and speaks on behalf of the people so this is something uh, which the judge has kept uh, non went right. straight away that within acting within the four corners of the law all right swapnil kothari and uh, my colleague kartik sharma do stay on if you will i'm now joined by Another of my colleagues, Jessica Taneja from outside the Supreme Court in New Delhi, and also lawyer Ashish Dixit, who is joining us from Kolkata. If I can come to you, Ashish, first. Uh, Spapnil Kothari in Mumbai says the, the message going out from today in Jodhpur is that even a trial court will not come under pressure of celebrities and media or society at large and will side firmly on the side of law and justice. All right, are, I'll come are, back to you in a bit, are, Ashish. Are, Let's listen are, to the lawyers for, in Jodhpur. They are just, they are just, uh, they are just uh, praying for the profession, or they are just insisting, uh, emphasizing on the Do we know? Uh, 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 minimum sentence. No, but has the prosecution asked for the maximum? Well, prosecution will have their own turn because right now the, his counsels are uh, advancing arguments. Okay, so they are asking for a probation and that he shouldn't have to really go to jail is what they are asking. Well, uh, uh, let's see because it's too early to say anything about because in case if the court awards him a sentence of more than three years in that situation, he has to be behind the bars and in case if the court awards him sentence up to three years, right. then court will uh, suspend the sentence for a period of one month. All right, All right. joining us now is the lawyer or representing Salman Khan, right? All right, so there we heard the lawyer addressing the media in Jodhpur. Let's continue listening to reactions coming from Jodhpur. Salman Khan ko Novata icon ke अपराध के अंदर दोषी माना है जिसके सजा के बिंदु पर भी बेस जारी है तथा सलमान खान के अलावा अन्य सारे अभियुक्त सैफ अली सोनाली तबू नीलम यूसी सिंह और सभी को संदेह का लाभ देके न्यायालय ने भरी किया है लेकिन अभी सलमान खान के संबंध में अभी न्यायालय के अंदर उनके अधिवक्ता के द्वारा बहस की जा रही है उसके बहस के पश्चात ही पब्लिक प्रोसिक्यूटर श्री भवानी सिंह जी भाटी है जो विधि अधिकारी है उनके द्वारा उनका जवाब दिया जाएगा तत्पश्चात all right, so there we heard lawyers briefing the media outside the Jodhpur court. The big news we are tracking here on Beyond This Moment, Salman Khan has been held guilty in the 20-year-old poaching case. The Jodhpur court uh, convicting him for the offense of killing two black bucks on a hunting expedition while shooting for the film Hum Saath Saath Hain in 1998. All right, if I can go back to my guest, Ashish Dikshit, a lawyer from uh, Kolkata, and also my colleague Jessica Tanejo is standing by patiently outside Supreme Court in New Delhi. Uh, Ashish, if you can hear me and if you're with me, 
uh, we are given to understand that if the sentencing is for a period of more than three years, Salman Khan will necessarily have to go to jail. Otherwise, the sentence in the judgment stands suspended for a finite period of time. Now, your thoughts on the implications of this judgment for celebrities, for actors, for animal rights activists, and the benchmark this will set going forward? Uh, see, I have not yet read the judgment, but one thing is very surprising that all of the accused except Salman Khan has been, have been acquitted. This is something very surprising. I need to see what is what are the reasons given by the judge. It, you know, in a case of common intent, you cannot have only one person guilty and the rest everyone can be declared not guilty. And as far as the sentencing is concerned, yes, in case the sentence is more than three years, then the then Mr. Khan shall have no right to get the bail from this court. He has to necessarily approach the higher court and obtain bail. But the minimum sentence which is provided under this offense is of one year. So I right. believe that a sentence less than three years can also be provided. And second thing, uh, as far as the celebrity things are concerned, let me assure you as a lawyer that, uh, that the judiciary of our court, whether it is the trial court or up till the Supreme Court, they do not get affected by the media pressure or the public perception. They only go by the record of the case, whatever is on the file, they will only go by the evidence. If the public thinks that someone has done an offense, that doesn't matter to the, to the judges. They only d decide as per the evidence available before them. So we are right. in very safe hands. The judiciary uh, ha is totally independent. It doesn't get affected whether it is Salman Khan or it is a prime minister of the country. The, court, the courts have a very independent approach. All right. Uh, Ashish Dixit, do stay on if you will.